Rhapsody in Blue is a piece that needs really no verbal advocacy or introduction by me. I mean, it's a piece that's so familiar to everybody, and it's a piece that has such a such a rapturous, you know, inventive spark for so many wonderful melodies, and it really is a lot of fun to play. In this recording, I'll be using the 1924 orchestration, which is very colourful and extremely interesting. For example, it has a banjo in it. Um, should be a unique sound. Making a recording is very different to performing. Um, I've done quite a few of them now. My most heavy duty recording process was my first Decadisc really, but I also made a number when I was 10 or 11 and one when I was 15. On this occasion, it's uh, different for me in that it's a concerto disc and I'm playing with an orchestra, which is going to present lots of different challenges that weren't there last time I recorded, which my last recording was a, was a solo disc. It's wonderful working with the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic and James Judd because you have um, musical collaborators there with you in the studio. I think recording can be quite a lonely experience, but yeah, when you're making a concerto, you have all these other musicians around you who you can talk to and sort of bounce ideas off of them. The Revolve G Major Piano Concerto is a work I have been playing a while. It's the first piece, first concerto I played with a professional orchestra. What really appealed to me in the music was uh, the jazz influence that is there. There's such a jazz influence, particularly in the first movement. But also in the Revelle, there's a, in the first movement, particularly, there's a Spanish sort of Basque influence there, which is very colourful. I think a favourite moment for me is in the cadenza of the first movement, where you have the second subject melody is presented with all the notes joined together by these alliding trills. I, I think it's an extraordinary piece of writing. I've never found any great difficulty switching from jazz to classical. When I was nine or ten, I'd go and I'd play in restaurants and I'd give a recital of um, Billy Merrill alongside Chopin, alongside movements of Haydn sonatas and things like that. So um, I think that kind of got me quite used to the rapid changes of style and all the recital programmes I pick have that kind of eclectic mix in them and a constant change of style. Council 2 is a, is a very demanding piece and the, the second movement requires a kind of a, a lightness of touch and lots of quick light passages which are, which are quite difficult. There's so much in it which is colourful and scintillating and there's this inner warmth which is I find extremely touching. I think I was in a very privileged position to be able to start my career so young. Um, I entered the BBC Musician when I was 10 and it gave me so many opportunities. It helped me grow as a musician. I think over the course of that year I grew hugely because every round you were learning new repertoire um, and it resulted in playing a concerto with an orchestra. Um, to have that experience at 11 is wonderful. <laughs> When one is preparing for a recording, one is aware that um, one is making something that is, uh, is permanent, um, which is potentially there for posterity. Of course, there's a certain amount of pressure attached to this, but there's also immense satisfaction when you're at the end of the process and you have this, this thing in front of you which is, you know, there forever. <laughs>